Hello guys, once again, this is Jose Trujillo. Let me make sure that you guys can see me well. Um, I haven't made a video in a little while and I just wanted to make a quick video here uh, to talk to you guys about uh, one of the things that comes often, comes up often, uh, being an artist, right? Uh, the little the little day to day struggles that that people talk to me about that I've experienced and that I just you know I see worth talking about. I don't see I don't see artists really talking about this. Maybe they are, but they're not putting it on YouTube or I don't know. Uh, I tend to go for this kind of stuff. So the thing is about about feeling like your your muse is not is not uh, showing up right. Your you are. Uh, you're you're procrastinating. I've, I've talked about this many many in many other videos. You're either procrastinating or 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 you just uh, you know you find it difficult and you don't know what it is. You go up to the studio, you show up to the studio, and you see the white canvas, and you're like, oh man, I hope I don't I don't ruin it. I hope I'm doing the right thing, or is my style coming out correctly? You know, because you're trying to put this. You're trying to put this on the canvas. And this is at least I don't know what you paint. I don't know if you are a realist, if you are a, a, some ism or some you know the stuff that I do, some some blue stuff. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. I believe it's all the same. Um, you want to put more of this than than this. This is necessary, of course, right? But we tend to analyze a lot. We tend to think. Uh, we, we talk about styles, we talk about uh, technique, mediums, the brushes, the this, the that. I, I hear so many people talk, talking to me about this, and I and I read the comments on, on YouTube, and I don't, my, I don't mean to be, uh, uh, sometimes maybe I, I may sound a bit rude or, or, or kind of cold or, or straight to the point, uh, but I'm, not, I'm almost never straight to the point. <laughs> In order to make my points, to get my points across, I go around. Uh, I'm trying to touch the untouchable, <laughs> but um, uh, I, 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 I say it out, right? I, I, I tell, I've told a couple of people, look, it's not, it's not the brushes. I know you're, I know you want to know about that. I know you want to know about the medium I use. I know you want to know about the, the brand of the paints and the canvases and the, do I prime them? Do I double prime them? Do I triple prime them? All that, all that stuff is great, but y you are going to get that through doing and you're gonna find your own thing. That's why I don't talk about it so much. And I don't talk about it. I mean, some artists, some artists have told me, "Well, you don't talk about it because it's your secret." It's, it ain't no secret, man. It's just it's, there's nothing to it. It's the work. It's the, the 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 other stuff is stuff that works for you, right? That keeps working for you. If I were to tell you the whole system of how I use thing, I use things. It doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. It probably won't. Because I've carved my way into certain little things, you know, I've dug deep into them. So they make sense to me, but it might not make sense to someone else, you know. So that's why I don't talk about that. And I don't talk about that often. Very little. I touch here and there about the colors I use. So I have a couple of videos where I show my palette. But that palette will probably be here in, I don't know, a couple of months. I may change the palette because I'm always... I, I like to take the Picasso approach. I, I, I pour... And then I empty myself, and then I pour in again, and I empty myself, which is I'm always changing. I love change. I love to 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 push, right? Uh, in my my own paradigms, I'm not trying to say I'm avant garde and I push and I, you know, no, no, my own paradigms, my 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 own experience. I'm not trying to say that I'm this avant garde artist or anything like that by all means, but um, but that's what I do on a daily basis. So what I'm trying to talk about. Is if you're feeling that, if you're feeling the the, the frustration of of not feeling inspired, or or you're you're afraid of the canvas, you're looking at the canvas and you're like, oh man, I wish I w I don't want to ruin it. Blah, blah, blah. Here's my message to you: you are not, you're probably not. I don't know. This is true to me. It might not be true to you. So so if it's not true to you, it's not true to you, right? But it is true to me. So I, I don't know. Take it or leave it. You're not. You're you're. Resistance level is very low, and what you need to work on more, in my in my opinion, is not strategy, not uh, technique, not style, uh, brush sizes or 
priming this, priming because we usually go there. Artists tend to go there. We become technical. What you need to do is remove yourself from the technical aspect, not completely, but at least your attention, your focus, right? You need the technical stuff, of course, how to mix paint and all this, but remove your attention from there and put it in the work. What I mean in the work is in, you don't feel like painting today? Uh, tough shit. Show up and paint. Uh, you were supposed to do, a, 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 I don't know, sign up to something and follow it and see it through. It's what I learned from Chuck Close, right? Uh, sign up to something and see it through. For example, if you want to be a professional artist, don't show up to the studio once a week and work there for like five hours and tire yourself out. And then, and then you don't go again for another five or six days. I mean, come on. You know, if you want to be an athlete, everybody knows that, especially a professional, especially a creme de la creme athlete, you're going to have to practice daily, many hours, till you bleed and vomit, you know? <laughs> come on, right? So maybe you don't want to be that type of artist. Maybe you don't, you're, you don't, you don't want to create a, a, a career, you know, a business or whatever. And you don't want to, you don't want to, uh, I don't know, work that hard. Let's put it that way, right? Okay, it's fine. Then create a, a, a something that still either pushes your, your, either way, you're not going to, you're not going to escape pushing your comfort level. Your, 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 your level may be low. And that's why every time you are in front of a canvas, you're only waiting whether how you feel. If you're going to paint every time you feel good, uh, every time you're excited and, and happy and you're like, oh, I'm going to paint, yeah, 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 then you're not going to be a very good painter. You, you may develop a little style over many years, right, of showing up once a, once a week, but it doesn't mean that you're going to create quantity of work or you're not going to create maybe even high levels of quality. And I, when I mean quality, I'm not talking about mimicking some great artist that, that, that creates quality. I'm talking about you, your depth, when you go deep in you, not in... Not I learned how to paint like Jose, or I learned how to, ooh, like, <laughs> or I learned how to paint like this, you know, guy on, 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 I don't know, my class or YouTube or whatever, and her body's DVDs or all that kind of stuff, right? And people can paint the world. Oh, great, you know, you, you've, you've become a, 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 a shadow of that artist. Great, but we all do that, right? When we're learning. But if you want to go deep, if you want to express yourself, if you want to get what's inside here, not in here. What's inside here? You need to put in the time and you need to go deep in yourself. And in order to do that, you're going to find it through work. Not, not, through, think, not through thinking about it or through some gimmick or some um, technique or, oh, if I put, you know, less oil, more oil. People ask me, I put a lot of oil because mine is flow, right? It's, that's how I play. It's flow. But if I were to do that, I would do it some other way. I would do it, you know, if I were not... Uh, that quick, maybe because I like that speed, then I would put more impasto, more paint, you know, heavy amounts of paint, or I don't know. It doesn't matter because that, that doesn't matter. What matters is that you put in the time and you put in the, the effort. And I don't see many people, as a, as a matter of fact, I don't see anyone talking about that. Maybe not in YouTube, maybe, maybe in, in personal circles or whatever, in the bar or somewhere, in a coffee shop, <laughs> where all the bohemians hang out. But I don't hear people talk about that. People are get stuck on talking about the, the technique and this and that. And really, I'm here to tell you, look, skip that part. Not completely. I understand it's necessary and I understand we're all hungry to learn more, okay, of the technical aspect. But focus on showing up. On showing up daily, create a routine. Maybe one hour every day. If you're serious about it, right? One hour every day. If you're not so serious about it, you're like, well, you know, I'm not as, I'm not as intense as Jose. Maybe, maybe show up, you know, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes a day. Doodle, doodle every day, doodle. You know, get a little chalk, a little, uh, I don't know, charcoal and paper and doodle every day. And that is going to lower your, or it's going to, yeah, it's going to lower your resistance and, 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 and or, or whatever. <laughs> it's going to make you stronger is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'll leave you guys with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. Show up. Take care. Bye-bye.